go have a look at a 1500 square meter seven bedroom eight bathrooms four car garage mansion in uh in vaucluse <laughs> my man pete Hendo. hey buddy how are you good mate you're going to show us around good this, to see uh, you. this masterpiece welcome yes of course i'm excited me too to build this house right and a lot of it was renew was uh, renewed you know they, they reused or recycled a lot of the materials such as the sandstone you'll see throughout the house right and that wall of sandstone goes from the top all the way to the bottom all the way through right? correct you'll see yeah. sandstone theme throughout sandstone wood very Australian right very yes okay the runway here Jack yes puts you to puts you to the border of the property all so right they've built all the way over there which frames us here, right in front of the bridge. And that's what you're paying the 30 million for? Correct, right. correct. As you look back at the house as well, you get a really, really good view of the wet edge pool. And the house is over four levels. Correct. Right. So if you work your way out from the bottom, which we'll do, garaging, entertainment, more bedrooms, cinema, this level for entertaining, then bedrooms upstairs as right. well. Mate, uh, just did a, a bit of a fun video then with the boys from Badger Fox, Pete and Alex. Selling a thirty million dollar home in Vaucluse, so we went and shot a bit of a, uh, a bit of a video there to show people what thirty million buys. And now we're uh, back to the office and back to the grind. strategy on how we're going to make that happen and we okay. send that across to you for you to digest and, okay. and and obviously you make the most informed decision on which way you'd like to go um, okay. in terms of on a daily basis what it would actually look like having a buyer's agent work with you you obviously spoken to buyers agents in the past do, do you know what that would actually look like so if we were to start working together essentially what would happen is you'd have myself you'd have Jeremy and the team here there's roughly 12 of us we'd okay. be working for you every single day of the week and what we're doing is, is bringing every opportunity to the table that really ticks your boxes okay we'll do all the due diligence on those properties we make sure they are as they seem and then if we believe they're worth your attention we'll, we'll make you aware of them yeah as soon as everyone felt like there was more normality and uh, normality sorry and um and things were going, you know, or looking positive in the marketplace, yeah, it's, it's, it's really picked up. The overlooked part of due diligence is also when looking at comparable properties, especially with marketplaces that move quite fluidly and quite quickly, is only looking at comparables that are online. So most people will go into your real estate zone so domains of the world and they'll search recently sold with the, you know, similar features and that's what they'll base their judgment off. But in a market like we've currently been in during COVID, the, the market's moved so quickly in the past 12 weeks. So the properties that were selling 12 weeks ago in the middle of COVID are completely irrelevant now because the market's moved so much. So we're actually getting in contact with the local agents um, that sell the, the majority of the stock in the area to find out what they've actually sold in the past sort of three, four, five weeks that haven't actually reached the sold sections of those portals gives you a much better indication of what's happening right now. Um, you know, lay it on top of that with your pest and building reports, lay it on top of that with your council checks, lay it on top of that with your independent valuations. And it's very, very hard to go wrong and make it a mistake. Never at ease, I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream, I don't know what sleepers. I got a queen, she lit me to eat it. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snip it. And whatever do for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a murder, she wrote it. Still up with courage, you're doing a service. Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the breast strokes. Cut throat from the low, low, when no love goes. Women buddy, buddy, like it's been dad. When a f me looking at the bill stack off the Good. buddy, buddy, I'm stressed.
Ladies and gentlemen, Eastern Suburbs Market Wrap for the week. Joined again by Tristan Oddie from Phillips Pants and Donnelly. It's good to be here, Jack. Mate, it was a, um, a week that obviously wasn't as big as the week before. Mm. Um, a, a few different contributing factors to that. One being school holidays. Second being the, the COVID scare and, and obviously what's happening in Melbourne. And then obviously winter is a uh, generally a month that is slower and we may be starting to see some of those shoots come through. It's been dad when I'm looking at the bill stack off the bubbly buddy, I've been stressed out. Let the smoke scream from my chest out. Lay stuff, I really hate love from a stranger. Shit is fake stuff, only need it you. Mate, I, I think for a lot of people, what it comes down to is they realise it's an opportunity, but they have limiting beliefs inside them. So... When an opportunity comes along, straight away they, they realise it's an incredible opportunity, but then they start telling themselves they can't do it, it's not real, it's too good to be true, blah, 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 blah. Um, whether that's in business, in life, you know, it's currently happening in, in, in real estate right now. Incredible opportunity. Client's been looking for two years, you know, seen hundreds of properties over that time. He realises it's an incredible opportunity, and now he's trying to talk himself out of it because he feels like it's really happening now and it's not really true and then you start saying we can find something better and all the rest of it because it's been such a long process. So, um, I mean, that that's, I guess that's what separates the people that make something of themselves and that do things and the people that don't. They're exactly the same people. They're, a lot of them have got exactly the same opportunities. One takes advantage of those and one doesn't take advantage of them and, and obviously the results speak for themselves. Like it's been dad when I'm looking at the bill stack off the bubbly buddy I've been stressed out let the smoke scream from my chest out lay stuff I really hate love from a on our way to Coogee fake stuff only need it from you inspection there um, big day today actually then later on today we're meeting with um, a business partner for some very exciting expansion plans um, and mate just you know just all in all happy happy days had a deal fall over during the week, um, you know, gets you down for a little bit, doesn't it? But then you just pick yourself back up, put yourself back together like Humpty Dumpty, and you just get on with your day because life's good. Oh boy! I must be up there. <laughs> oh, that, that's crap. Look at that shit. We were spoken about it before. You've got an apartment building next to you that's facing north, but. The apartment building there, it, um, you know, will take a lot of your light. But down the front, there was the roof was lower than the window. window. Property that I went through off market on Marine Parade in Maroubra, a two bedroom apartment with parking, um, complete ocean front, cracking views. Um, we went through it off market, didn't suit the client. One six we could have bought it for, vendor would have been happy and it, and it would have been a really good buy. Um, it ended up going to market because it didn't sell pre or off market and it just sold for $1.778 million. Um, so, you know, that's just a $180,000 difference there. Ladies and gentlemen, so today we're going through one of Newcastle's finest penthouses. We're at the top of the York building. We've got 270 degree panoramic views over Newcastle Beach. So let's go check it out. The Flamingo. Hello. Hello. How you doing, mate? Good, good, mate. Good. good to see you. Nat, welcome. How are you? <laughs> welcome. Uh... welcome. I love it. I love it. So this is we're, what, um, we're showing him the apartment and he's saying welcome to us. That's what he's like. He's so good to Flamingo. This is what five and a half million dollars buys you in Newcastle. Well, five to five point five is yes to me, mate. I really do like your optimism there. <laughs> so you asked me for the, what is the best existing penthouse. I know we've had East End and some amazing sales there. There's been a six million sale, three joined together. This is the best existing penthouse in Newcastle. We're 270 degree wrap around. We're on the beach. We've got harbour, headlands, the city views. We're on the greyest day ever, so this is actually the best day to see because if you're impressed now, you wait till you come back here on a sunset, you'd be blown away.